Hey guys, I'm here to show you a little bit about the combat beta and uh, give you some pointers and tips and stuff. So, go ahead and import your saves so you, you know, update all your stats and everything like that. Update all your recent uh, levels and everything, all your recent gear. And go ahead and enter. And as soon as you log in, you're going to get this little annoying little thing on second. Sorry, my computer takes a bit to load, so I'll give it a bit. There we go. Alright, get rid of that thing for a minute. And uh, Alright, so you've got your action bar and stuff, everything here. And um, you'll see, uh, normally for you, it'll probably be 1 through uh, equal sign. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 8, 9, 0. Uh, minus sign equal sign. I've got one through six there and I've rebound the other keys. Uh, those are all kind of close to my left hand there. Easy for me to reach. Uh, you know, I've got R there, uh, F, G, T, C, etc. And you can see it there for yourself. So anyway, I've got all these keys here and uh, they're really easy for me to reach with my left hand. So I leave those near one through six. I leave that near one through six and then just push the buttons uh, as needed. And you've got, you know, five action bars here to work with, so you've got a lot of flexibility in setting up your stuff, so let's go ahead and start doing that. So go ahead and open up your ability book, and uh, let's go ahead and set up your tank spec first, because you want to have, have a shield set, and it's really, really important. Uh, so you go to your, click your defensive tab, and uh, you'll look through all your abilities there. And uh, one second, I'm going to turn off the music, it's kind of annoying me. Um, Look through all your abilities there, and let's see. You want to start off with resonance there. I put that down on C. It's easy for me to reach. Um, you want to also get let's see here rejuvenate. That's a really big one. You want to put that. I put that on six because it's kind of close uh, to the rest of the numbers there, but it's an ultimate ability, and it means I don't use it all that often. So you can put it in kind of a little bit farther place than the rest of the keys. Um, shield, uh, barricade there, that's a shield wall basically, it prevents all your damage, it's a pretty nice move. Also an ultimate ability. Reflect, I use that one a lot. Uh, that's next, let's put that in R because it's easy to reach. Uh, preparation, put that in F, it's easy to reach, I use that quite a lot. And uh, now you want to get some damage moves out there because you can't generate any adrenaline to use these moves unless you get some damage going, so use slice uh, it's a really short cooldown move uh, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage but it's it's over quickly and you can use it again quickly and uh, <coughs> I always put my my stun on T so backhand put that on T uh, I use T for to stun with every spec you know all five of them so you know two-handed uh, dual wield mage range tanking whatever I, I use T as my stun for every one of them uh, makes it a lot easier to remember and um, let's see, go ahead and put Sever out there. It's got a long cooldown. You, you might see here in a second it's got, uh, what is it, 30 seconds. So you can't use it a whole lot, but it does a lot of damage, so it's a nice move and it's a basic ability, so you can use it right off the bat. Um, overpower, I like putting that in my bar um, because it gives me some F offensive potential. Um, it does a percent base damage, so it does 25% of your opponent's max health. Really, really useful against high high health mobs. Um, punish, it's another low cooldown uh, basic ability. I put that right next to Slice, and I use those on 4 and 5 because they're easy to reach, so you can use those quite often and uh, build up adrenaline to use your other moves. Assault's a really nice power move, I put that on 1. Uh, just because it's kind of easy to reach, and once you get to 50% threshold there, uh, you can use that. So you use your basic moves, build up th adrenaline, and then get the 50%, you can use it, stuff like Assault. Uh, I leave 3 blank for now, and we'll get to that later. Uh, don't worry about it. It's kind of a an open spot you can use for whatever. I like the PvP, so uh, not everybody does, so you can use that for other things too. Um, go ahead and put on our gear for now. You know, you get your shield, your amulet, all that kind of stuff. And uh, you'll notice my health up there has dropped for a bit, but uh, we can eat some food up and I'll show you how to work with that later on. Uh, it should fill up after you put on your gear for the first time, but I'm not sure how they work that out. Anyway, um, so you'll notice... Uh, let's see, that's not the right word. Let's, let's go to... 
Let's go get some new gear. Let's go get to pick up some gear from the gear vendors. Sorry, my computer's really laggy right now. Really laggy. Wow. Um, that's what you get for playing with a laptop. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and run through the bank here. And uh, we're not gonna use the bank because I don't want you guys to see my password. I love you all, but I don't want you to see my password, my bank pin. So we're gonna go up to the vendors and pick up some stuff there. So let's go ahead and pick up some mage gear. Let's start with the oh wait hold on no something first. Well, let's get a god sword. Let's go ahead and work out our two-handed setup there. Get a samurai god sword. Okay. Um. So if you push, if you go ahead and equip that, and then you go ahead and push shift two, you're gonna switch to your second action bar there. So you don't actually need to click it to switch to it. You can just push Shift 2 and it'll switch, and you can push Shift 1 and it'll go right back. So you want to put a lot of the same abilities out there. Like if you put, uh, you know, your, your stun's always going to go on T, so it's really easy to reach, always in the same place. Same thing with Overpower. Your percent damage move there, um, really straightforward. Um, let's see, what else? I mean, I kind of keep it the same with all my specs, you know, Mage, Range defensive, dual wielding, whatever. Um, let's see, what's next? Okay, uh, I want to go ahead and put Slice out there, same place, really easy to reach. Uh, same thing with Punish, same thing as defensive. A lot of moves you'll see are the same thing. Smash is a really nice move, it's a short cooldown uh, melee move. Uh, only 10 seconds, does some nice damage. Um, Kind of nice move in PvP too. Always want to get Sever out there. Um, these moves will help build up adrenaline. You want to put Slaughter out on your bar. Put it out on number one. Uh, does a lot of nice bleed damage, especially if the target moves while they're bleeding. And then it'll like go uh, three times as much. It's it's a pretty crazy move if you get that going. Um, a lot easier to do in PvP than in PvM, but you know. Um, Let's see what else. I like to use barge, but that's because I PvP. It's kind of like a rush move, so if you don't PvP, you don't have to put that there. Uh, cleave is a nice short cooldown move. Uh, I put that on C. It's easy to reach. Assault, I'm going to put on F. F is your power move for all your damage specs. So, uh, you know, all your mage and range and stuff. F is always going to be your power move. It's going to be a really hard hitter. Um, I like to put Berserk out there. It actually, I tested it out. It, tends to do a lot of damage. Uh, it increases the rest of your damage by 100% for 10 seconds, so it's it's pretty powerful in the right right place. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, we can go ahead and start setting up our dual wielding spec. It's more or less the same in many, many respects. Uh, put destroy on F. That's a really good move. It stuns the target for 6 seconds, and it does a lot of damage too, so it's a pretty good move. Um, you want to put Smite on 6, it's really easy, it's a short cooldown, and it does a lot of damage, especially if they have a shield. Um, go ahead and put Slaughter in its place down on 1. Uh, let's see, Smite, or excuse me, Havoc, you want to just put that there, it's a short cooldown move, easy to reach. Uh, there's Sever again, Slice. And, uh, let's see, let me rearrange something here. Um, Actually, I'm gonna put go ahead and put Berserk out there, and I'm gonna put Hurricane there. Hurricane's kind of an AOE move, but it does a lot of damage, and you can use it when you have 50% adrenaline. It's a threshold move, and instead of using uh, Overpower, I'm gonna use Berserk there because I don't know. So many uh, monsters you kill with Overpower, uh, it's they don't have enough health for it to really matter. So you can be more effective with Berserk than you can with Overpower. So anyway. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get out of here. It's kind of laggy right now. Sorry. Let's see if I can tone down the graphics some. Nah. Not yet. So, let's set up our dual wield spec. Get your stun out there. Overpower. It's nice to have it on there. Massacre is a really, really powerful ability. Probably one of the most powerful in the game. It's an ultimate ability, so you can't use it until you get a full adrenaline bar, but we'll get to that later. I don't really use Flurry very much, and it just doesn't do enough damage for to uh, to be worthwhile for me. I like to put Barge out there.
Okay, we'll go ahead and click this here. And I like to set up my mage one. Let's set up our mage one too. Uh, I put it in position five, uh, list five. Whatever impact, there's your stun. Uh, you have some chains there. It's a good AOE move. There's your dot combustion uh, and damage over time. I like to put that on number one for all my moves. Uh, Dragon's Breath, put it on five, kind of a short cooldown. Torture, there's your short cooldown move there. So four and five, just like the other ones. Um, asphyxiate, that's your power move there. Big, big move there. Uh, there's a lot of damage there. You have to get a threshold for it though. Metamorphosis is a really good ultimate. Um, I don't really use Tsunami, it's kind of a lame move. Uh, compared to Metamorphosis, you get more out of Metamorphosis, I think. Omnipower, it's a really good move for a high health mob. You know, if you use something like that against a, uh, like a Mithril Dragon, you'll do like 5,000 damage. It's pretty nice. Um, I like to use Escape, which is in your range list there, over Surge, because you jump backwards when you use it, just like that. And uh, that, to me, is better. So I prefer to use that. Um, and yeah, I mean that's that's essentially it. Um, I like to put a defensive move there and rejuvenate up there too, uh, because if you swap out with a shield when you have a full adrenaline bar, you can heal after a fight. It's really really useful. Uh, I'll I'll show you some of that later on. Um, resonance is kind of the same thing. You know, pop out with a shield, take a hit, and heal and sit with it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, you let's see. Let's get to have our range bar now. Most much of it's in the same place. You know, um, snipe is going to be really short cooldown move. Same thing with piercing shots. So, you know, put them in the four and five there. G is a good power move, a good finisher. T is your stun. Uh, what else we got here? Okay. Close down the settings here for a bit. See if it slows or see if it speeds up a bit. Give me just a second. See if I can get this going. All right. Eh, it didn't help very much. Okay, well, whatever. So let's go ahead and uh, set up our range bar. And uh, a lot of longbows actually have shields on them, so you can use some defensive abilities. It's pretty nice. Um, there's a juvenile. There we go. We're juvenile. I'll put that out there. Um, sometimes you might use it. Sometimes you might not. We'll set up our bar later on. Actually, let's see, we'll put that over here instead. Might not end up using Rejuvenate, let's see. Um, fragment Shot, that's your dot there. Uh, there's your power move. Let's get rid of that for now. Ricochet, we'll put that there. That's your AoE move. Range doesn't have a whole lot of AoE, well, actually I could take that back, it kind of does, but it's very situational AOE. Um, let's go pick up some gear. Let's go get some mage gear. So go ahead and get some. Let's see, there we go. Magic armor trader. Uh, go ahead and just pick up something you use in game. Uh, I have Ganoderic, so you know we'll use that. Um, this is all stuff I have in game. I use all the stuff I have in game all the time, so. That way, I know how I will perform, and you know, I don't have to go. Oh, okay, so I, you know, this is my gear carrying me. No, it's just the stuff I have in game, so that'll be really helpful that way. Uh, I suggest doing that too. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick up an armadillo staff because that's what I use in game right now. It's pretty amazing. Uh, definitely worth trying to look into getting one of those. I would highly recommend an armadillo battle staff. It's just it's so useful. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go and get away from the people here. From actually, hold on a minute. Oh, uh, remember that spot three there I told you about? Yeah. Um, I use that for freedom. Uh, it, yeah. Just clear that up. I think we actually explained that earlier. Um, oh, let's go pick up some range gear too. Go ahead and get some range armor. I actually don't use this range armor, but just for the purposes of demonstration, I'll go ahead and use it here. Uh, hold on a minute. 
this. There we go. I uh, got a dragon two-handed crossbow. It's a pretty nice, power, powerful weapon. So I just picked it up just so you can toy around with it and get get used to it. Um, there we go. Get some arrows and bolts. Just pick up some rune bolts or whatever. Uh, not those. Not the, there. We got rune bolts. And uh, let's see. And some range armor. Scroll down, get some uh, armadillo here. Oh, the black dragon hide. We'll get some armadillo. And let's see. We're actually not going to use the armadillo buckler, uh, but I'll just pick up just because. Let's go do some barrows. Uh, it's a really easy thing. We'll just go ahead and kick butt there. Okay, so. You'll notice, uh, putting on some mage gear here, we're going to go ahead and take care of some of the melee brothers first. Um, I have not actually done Akrasay on the beta yet, so we're probably not going to do him because I, I haven't toyed with him yet and figured out how to handle him, but uh, we'll worry about that later. Let me fix this really quickly here. Okay, there we go. Let's get that out of the way. So set up your, uh, you know, your bar here and everything, and make sure you're good to go. Um, if you're using an air staff, if you don't, if you can't afford an armadillo staff, they are pretty expensive. It's like 10, 11 mil. Um, go ahead and you know pick up a mystic air staff and go ahead and cast your strongest air spell. It'll, it'll do the job. Um, I use an armadillo battle staff though so, because it uh, makes that divine storm power a lot us. Uh, yeah, Divine Storm spell a lot more powerful. So let's go ahead and take care of Derek. Go ahead and summon him up here. Okay, there we go. He's summoned. Go ahead and stun him. Jump back and yeah, pretty much just handle him there. Use your power move there and just you know sit back and let that all happen. It's pretty straightforward. Um. Let's see. Oh, and w after the fight's over, you can go ahead and use uh, Regenerate to heal up lost health. And uh, go on and do Guthan, same thing, summon him up. And, uh, yeah. Jump back, use Escape. If he's stunned, he won't actually move, because the stun actually roots him in place too, so... That's it's pretty useful. Once you get to 50% threshold, just use your 68 move, and it's usually game over by then, because uh, it hits so hard, and it stuns them in place too. So it's it's a pretty amazing move. Go over and kill Torag. And look, we got some other people here. They're clearly not praying. You, oh, uh, they nerfed prayer by the way, so um, it doesn't offer full protection anymore. So. That's why I'm not praying right now. It's kind of like pointless. It only offers 50%. So it's really not worth it. Um, that guy clearly doesn't know what he's doing, so he's getting his butt kicked by Torag. Uh, that guy there is asking me a question. So I'll go ahead and answer his question for him. He's asking what spell I was using, so... Uh, I'll go ahead and take care of Varak. There's Akrase over there. We're not going to worry about him for now. Okay. Oh, so he's stun missed there, so we're going to go ahead and jump back anyway and use Dragon's Breath now. And Divine Storm and everything we can. And use our stun and try and take care of him that way. And then finish him off. So we've just gone through however many brothers, four brothers, and we haven't used any food. It's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and use our uh, armadil now. Let's go ahead and take care of Arum. Actually, I think I have some bolts here. Look at that. Okay, so I've got my bolts all set up. And, uh, yeah, okay, so 
start shooting at RM there. These bolts aren't all that good, but you know, I guess they'll get the job done. He's obviously not hitting us, so it's not too big a problem. Um, use your stun whenever it's up and that kind of thing. It's really important to make sure you bring the right gear. It's it's you know half the fight right there, if not more. So and use your uh, ultimate there, and boom, explosions. It's always nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, see who we got. Let's go ahead and take care of Carl. We'll go ahead and use our tank spec too, so we can heal up. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, well, we got a tunnel for Carl, so let's go ahead and go in. Start fighting these guys, build up some adrenaline, and uh, once you get full, you want to use the, uh, you know, go ahead and keep fighting, make sure you're always in combat. Once you get full, you can actually start uh, working on healing yourself. And, uh, oh, can't go through that door. Let's go to that one over there. You want to use rejuvenate as soon as you can so ideally oh and that's resonance there that uh, will heal you for uh, the next damage dealt so instead of you know let's say you're fighting Derek uh, you can get healed by his attack instead of uh, damage dealt to you so let's go ahead and use uh, there's barricade there and refer it prevents all damage uh, for 10 seconds really really nice shield wall thing let's go ahead and use rejuvenate so you can see it's healing us up there pretty quickly. You almost you don't even need to bring food. I didn't bring food, so that's that's why. It's because you don't really need to as long as you know how to play right. So you can switch to a different weapon in combat, and if you push shift two, it'll switch to your different action bar there. So we can go ahead and just start kicking butt with a two-hander mid-combat and uh, switch to a completely different action list without having to click anything. It's pretty nice. So we're going to run through some doors here, try and find our guy, and uh, go through this door here, Is that, oh, that's Akrasay, we're not going to fight him, so let's keep moving, okay, find our next door here, what do we got, go through there, Okay. There's Carl, look at that, okay. So let's go ahead and start kicking Carl's butt. And uh, use your power move there. Um, once your adrenaline fills up, it'll just start really wailing on him. And that's what you want to do, is just you know, use assault. That's the move. And it'll pretty much do the fight for you. Um, and that's pretty much it. After that, after the fight's over, you equip a shield and heal up after it before the, before the fight, before you leave combat. So uh, you can actually use your full adrenaline bar. It's pretty nice. So, um, oh, and uh, by the way, if you equip something in combat, it will put on a, uh, put all your moves on a three second cooldown. So if you try and equip a whole set of gear in combat, you won't actually be able to use any moves. Uh, for three seconds or more than that, three seconds after you finish equipping your last piece of gear, so it's a pretty br brutal cooldown. So let's check out and see what we got here in our uh, chest. And it looks like we got a whole bunch of runes. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And uh, actually, you notice I didn't use any prayer there, so I can just go ahead and teleport right up and do the whole thing over again. But uh, that's pretty much it. So. Uh, Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll upload more hints soon or help, you know, give some advice, and uh, that's that. Thank you for watching.